it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to use a serial console to choose which device to boot from on a Jetson development kit. Let's get started. In some of our previous videos, we added external storage to our Jetson development kit. We also added the capability to set the root directory to either the external storage or the internal eMMC memory. This is all set up in the ext linux configuration file. This cable is wired as a serial console to the J21 header of the Jetson TX1. The other end of the cable is attached to a PC running a terminal emulation program. I'll leave a link here on how to wire this up. There's also one in the description below. This Jetson is currently set to boot from the SSD. By using the serial console, we can tell the Jetson to boot from the internal eMMC remotely. Let's switch to a screencast from the PC screen before we power the Jetson up. Okay, I'm over here at the PC now. This is the same PC that I used to flash the Jetson. Let's start up the terminal emulator. We're using Minicom in this instance. Now I'm going to hit the power button on the Jetson. You can see it starts booting. You can stop the boot process by tapping a key. You can see that it is booting off the internal eMMC and that it is looking at this file for its configuration information. We have two choices here, the primary, which is the SATA SSD or the internal eMMC. This is from the configuration file itself. So I'm going to choose two, which will be the internal eMMC and it continues its boot sequence. So there are several times that you might want to use this. For example, if you're debugging your ext Linux configuration file, you can take a look at here and bounce back and forth between different configurations. You can get back to the internal eMMC if need be. Another useful way to use it is if you're using USB boot drives, someone may have kind of inadvertently pocketed one and walked away, which means that you can't boot the Jetson. So you always have the option to go back and boot off of the internal flash memory. Thanks for watching. Thank you.